Hello everybody, Jamie the Board Game Man, and today we're going on an expedition with the game Costa Rica. Now it's Mayfair Games, two to five players, and in this game it's a pressure luck tile game when you're going deeper and deeper into the rainforest, looking for different types of animals. Mostly the rare ones is the ones you want because you get more points for those. You got toucans, you got jaguars, beetles, you name it, they got it in the rainforest. The person with the most points after all the tiles have been picked up, or all the adventurers are completed, you win the game. So let's head on over to the gamers table where we're going to go on an expedition with Costa Rica. with Costa Rica. Let's take a look. All right. So as you can see here, we are going to do some adventuring. We're going to be doing some exploring into the forest, the mountainous and the water areas, trying to locate different types of animals. And you, each player gets a turn leading an expedition. So what you're going to do is you're going to, play, you're going to shuffle up all the tiles. You're going to place them in this kind of order. You are going to have some tiles left over. So don't worry, it's not like when you're building something you have screws left over, you're like, uh-oh. But in this game, if you have extra tiles, you're good to go. So you're, gonna have a, you're not going to play with every single tile every game. You're going to place those in the box. You're going to have five different colors. I have four of them out here. It's a four-player game. Red, yellow, green, blue, and of course you have purple, which I have in the box here. All right, I'm going to put this down. Okay. So you have a meeple of each one of your colors. You're going to put them in each one of these corners, like so. This will be the expedition leader, this little marker here. And of course you have the instruction booklet right here, which we do not need. I'm going to show you how to play this right now. Very, very easy game. So what you're trying to do in this game is you're trying to get, find the most animals that you can. And what this is here is this is your little points that you're going to keep track of. For every one animal you find, you get one point. For each pair, you get three points. If you have three of one animal, you get six points. Four is 10. If you have five of one animal, it's 15. Six is 21. If you have seven plus, you get 28 points, which is pretty huge. At the very top, you see all six animals at the top. If you manage to get one of each, you get 20 points for each set of six. So say for happen, you know, by happenstance, you get two sets of six, then you get 20 points for each one of those. So you would get 40 points, okay? On the back, it does show you the different what the odds of finding different animals. So you can see here in the mountainous areas, you're more like you're going to find the jaguars or the toucans. If you're in the water area, you would find the frogs and the I think I don't know if it's a lizard or an iguana. And then you have a forest area, which are beetles and monkeys. This shows how many because some of the tiles have two animals on it and not just one. So you can see about three quarters of the time, you're going to find the two animals in the mountainous areas. Half the time, you're going to find it in the water. And a quarter of the time, you'll find two animals in the forest. These are the mosquitoes. Now I'm going to go over those. Those are dangerous. If you end up getting two mosquitoes in your expedition, the expedition ends right away. And you pick up any tiles prior to that uh, before getting the two. You can see half the time, you're going to find some mosquitoes in the, in the mountainous areas. Maybe about... Uh, a little less than half, you're going to find it in the water area, and about a quarter of the time, maybe a little less than a quarter of the time, you're going to find them in the forest. Okay, so this is like your little guide. So what you're going to do is, we're, I'm red, so I'm going to go ahead and be the expedition leader, and I'm going to choose which one of these corners I want to start at. I can start at any one of these as long as I have my color explorer in there, and I'll tell you what that's about in a second here. So let's just say I'm going to go ahead and start right here. It's right in front of me. Might as well start it. So what I'll do is I'm going to flip this tile over. Oh, geez, right away. We got a mosquito. Now I have two jaguars on there, but I have a mosquito. At this point, I can decide, do I just want to take that and be out of that expedition and close it off? Or do I want to press my luck? Now I'm going to say, I pass. Now since I pass, it's going to go to the next player. On my left here, yellow. And they decide, do I want to take that or do I want to pass? Let's say he passes, that person passes, this person passes. Then I choose a second tile. I'm going to choose a second tile here. You get an iguana. Okay, no mosquitoes, so we're still safe. And now we do that process over again. Do I want to take it or do I want to pass? Okay, let's just say we keep going. 
And finally, everyone passes, so I'm gonna choose one more. I can go up here, and I got a monkey. All right, so do I wanna continue on or do I wanna stop? Well, for intensive purposes here, when I'm trying to show you how to play this, we'll go ahead and say I stop. So I'm me being the red player, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these three tiles here. All right, place them right over here in front of me. So now, right now, technically, I have three points for the two Jaguars. And I have one point for each of these, the monkey and the iguana so far. Now, what happens is when I end an expedition and I take the tiles, my little explorer guy is now out of the game. He's out of the game or out of this uh, ex expedition here. And these three that didn't get anything will continue on, but you place them where it ended. So you're going to place them right in there. The red goes back in the box. That's the end of my turn. Yellow takes over the expedition. They can choose wherever they want to start. Let's just say yellow wants to start over here. All right, yellow goes, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the first tile. And we got a monkey, okay, does he want to continue on? Everyone says, pass, pass, pass. So yellow decides to keep going. He goes in the mountainous area, ooh, got two jaguars and a mosquito. Let's just say everybody passes, we're gonna press our luck, we're gonna move on to another forest tile. And oh, we got two monkeys, but there is a second mosquito. Once you get two mosquitoes, that expedition ends. And these two tiles are picked up. That expedition leader does not get to keep these two tiles. These mosquito tiles go back in the box. That's right, they are out of the game. Any other tiles that were safe automatically go to that expedition leader. So the expedition leader only gets a monkey, places it over here, and now this yellow player is out of the game. And then this, these people go right here where it ends. And the yellow, this yellow player is done. I think you probably catch the gist of how this works. Green will be the expedition leader. Let's just say Green says, you know what, I want to continue on here. So you can probably continue on from here, because he's the green there. And now Red's not going to have anything to do with expedition, so he's just going to be watching. He turns over to the water, he gets an iguana. Let's just say he continues on, he's going to go into the mountainous area. You got a toucan. Does he want to keep going? Yes. Now as long as you have, you can only pick up a, uh, a tile that's adjacent to it. So I can't do, oh, I'm going to go over here. You have to keep it adjacent, okay? You go decide, so I'm gonna go ahead and go here. And he picks another iguana up. Now let's just say, Green says, you know what, I'm watch, I, I, you know, someone else can pick it up too. Let's just say Green passes, and Yellow decides, you know what, I'll, I'll take those. Then what happens is, Yellow would take these, place them in front of him or her, and then these would go here, and then the Yellow would be out of that expedition, okay? And that yellows out two expeditions, all right? And that's pretty much how that works. Now, one scenario that could happen, okay, is what happens if all the tiles disappear around an expedition? And they have nowhere to go. Well, they're done. They're out of the game. There's nowhere for them to go. So if you're a player that, you know, maybe the red player, or in this case, the yellow player, they might want to try to be sneaky, and maybe try to get those tiles around this expedition, because they have no, they don't care about that expedition anymore because they're out of it. So these two need to pay attention, saying, hey, wait a minute, they're starting, they're trying to strand us there. I'll take those tiles when it, when it comes their turn to choose. That way they can stop it, and then maybe on the next expedition they can keep going. That way they don't get stuck. So you gotta keep an eye on that. Little strategy involved there, all right? And then but if this does happen, these two are done. They're back in the box and they're out of the game. The game can, can, continues this way until either, well, there's an expedition that's, you know, maybe left out here and there's no, you know, or there's no tiles left. That's when it all ends. You're going to count up your, how many of each animal you have. You're going to tally up your points. Uh, obviously, you still, you know, look at every pair of six. Every six you have, you get 20 points. And whoever has the most points wins the game. And that, my friends, is Costa Rica. So let's head on over to the game room. And I'll give you my final thoughts. Three, two, one. All right, so my final thoughts on Costa Rica. You know, it's a, it's a great gateway game. It's not deep whatsoever. But if you play this with people that really don't play games very often, this is a good stepping stone to actually get them to start playing games. Like, wow, that was actually pretty fun. What else do you got? And that's what this game will do for you. It's a two to five player game, which is great. And obviously, the more players you have, I think the better off it is. Because, of course, you have that pass, 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 pass. You know, do that, all that good stuff. Um, you know, when you're the expedition leader, 
you might pass on it, but one of those other players might want that monkey, or they might want that jaguar or that beetle that's pretty rare, and add it to their collection. So, they, so you really got to really think about, okay, do I want to stop this expedition? Especially when you get one of the mosquitoes, when you get a first mosquito, do I want to continue on? I mean, do I have enough tiles here? But then again, I mean, if you go all the way and you get that second mosquito, okay, you take those two mosquito cards off, and then you go ahead and you keep whatever all the other tiles that you have up. But um, the, the one, the one thing that you really got to watch out for is the expedition leader when they're actually starting to maneuver towards another area where they can leave all these explorers out for, you know, there might not, maybe he's already done with that expedition and he wants to close that expedition off by taking all those surrounding tiles. So you got to really pay attention so that when you're not the expedition leader, okay, he's heading over there, but... He doesn't have an ex he doesn't have an explorer there because he's already finished that expedition. He might want to just try to close them off. So you might want to grab those tiles early to keep them from doing that. Because like I said in the tutorial, if there's an area that's all taken all around explorers and they have nowhere to go, they're done. And if you're already done with that expedition, why have that one keep going? So that's something you want to kind of keep an eye out too, is a little bit of a strategy when it comes to you finishing an exploration. And you might want to go over there and kind of start taking a tile or two over there so it restricts their, their way of running. So anyway, that is my review of Costa Rica. If you can find it, get it. You can find it for pretty cheap. Um, I found this in McKay's. I think it was, I know it was less than 10 bucks. I think it was about 6 or 7 I got it for. It's totally worth that. But if you're paying more than 10 it, it's I wouldn't really pay for it if it's that much. Um, like I said, it's a very light game, but it is fun. Because who doesn't like a pressure luck game? That's one thing I do like is pressure luck. It always makes it, especially when you have players, like I said, that really don't play games very often. They will love the pressure luck aspect because it's every tile that flips over. Oh, oh, you know, you never know. So it can be some fun. And, uh, yeah, I think you should look into it, especially if, if you just want a really light strategy kind of, you know, pressure luck game. Then it's a, it's a pretty cool game. And plus you don't use all the tiles every game either. So it'll be a different game every time because obviously you shuffle up the tiles and they go wherever you go. So that part of it is pretty cool. So you can it's a different game every single time you play. All right, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Appreciate your support. Now head out and do your own exploration on some games out there. And as always, happy gaming.